Yeah. Fine. Now I'm recording it, and I'm in a live transcript it too. Oh wait, no, is it already going? Oh no. There we go. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. All right. Good. I just want to say auger, auger, auger. Everybody. Oh, all right. <laughs> live trans. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so before the live transcript was changing auger to hugger. Yeah. <laughs> every time. We're all huggers. <laughs> Boo on the trans. Yeah. <laughs> Bad update. All right. Anyway, uh, I am going to share my screen. Uh, brain. All right. So um, welcome, everybody. You can add yourself. That would be most excellent. Um, I'll go ahead and facilitate today. I kind of put together the agenda. Would somebody like to take on facilitating in on the 23rd? I can't on the 23rd. That's a week from today. Yeah, I know. I have a, a, <laughs> another I have another meeting. Oh, you do? OK. Yeah. So not sure. Uh, so. Any takers? I can do it if nobody wants to. Well, that that she wants to just say, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> I just feel bad because I'm like I talk a lot in these meetings. So to make sure that's all right. Facilitation <laughs> is just kind of you know it's just moving us through the agenda. You know what I mean? It's mostly just setting the agenda and then just moving us through the agenda. So, um, all right. So I thought we'd start today. Um, by taking a look at our project overview. So this is the work that um, Justin had done with the project. And I really like the looks of this. So this is a way for us to kind of take a look at um, any metric ideas that we have, which I, I don't think we're going to touch too much today, um, any to do's and then things that we've completed. So I think we're looking pretty good in terms of in progress. Um, you know, there are a few that we could take a look at and we don't have to follow through on them necessarily. So this is to do some interviews around DEI in open source. I think this is mostly just Justin putting this in as a placeholder. Does anybody have a comment about this current task? I think it's an awesome idea. And I think it stemmed from the fact that um, we wanted to broaden um, the metrics that we were looking at. So okay. that we wouldn't just be focusing on metrics that were you know, applicable to this group or that this hey. group. Of. Um, that being said, we, we do have a, quite a bit of a backlog. So I think that that is a great thing to do a little later in the year. Okay. Just to kind of make sure that you know, the, the people who are working on these metrics and bringing these ideas, that group is also diverse as possible. Okay. So could we, could you, I don't know if I can type in this. You know what I mean? Like maybe, add to that yeah. issue. I can go to the full issue. Elizabeth, maybe could you add that sure. small comment to the issue? Yeah. Just so we know that it's, <laughs> we're looking at it and that maybe just to address we want to address maybe the backlog of metric ideas first i think that's what you were referring to kind of this list over here yeah okay all right great uh all right so this is something inclusive leadership updates for release i'm guessing this was this is old this is old. Have we? I assume this was in, inclusive updates to the metric. Is that right, Matt? Um, I think we were working on the, the inclusive leadership metric itself, which I can't. I can't remember for the life of me if we ended up working this into the metric already. Okay. I'll look at it now and I'll report back. Okay. Thank you. Um, look at how awesome this project board is. To be honest with you, like I don't. We've never really been able to work through things quite like this. So this is great. So Justin, you're not on, but thank you. Um, release notes, this is just kind of our ongoing 
um, notes that we have as we're releasing things. So that's not okay. A reporting, but oh, number reporting three that? seven nine. Uh, we we that's a released metric at this point. You can close that issue. It was just tracking the beginning of that process. Okay. All right. Cool. It's amazing. I love that. We need to do this project board in every working group. <laughs> I really like this idea. Um, inclusive. Uh, sorry. To that to that point, would that take? Maybe not. Never mind. I was going to say, would that replace the spreadsheet then, or? I don't think so. Okay. Because this is, I think this is mostly just issues oh, okay. that we have here. So, um, inclusive naming, Matt. Yeah, um, we talked about this for a while. I, I just put together the list of things that we need to look for and change. That's that's all that is. Okay. I, I also put some context on the inclusive naming and what we were talking about that day as well. So a quick question, where is this, would, do you think there is a, be a place to start in this regard, Matt? The metrics themselves are possibly the process documentation. Okay. The things that people see and use okay. the most is probably the, like that's a recommendation on the first thing to go with too. Oh, okay, right here. This might okay. be a good um, Google Summer of Code project because I think, and I could be wrong, but I think the INI, Inclusive Naming Initiative, has uh -huh. a tool that will scan through and grab them for you, but we would need someone to kind of manage that and do that. So it wouldn't be like manually someone going through and but right. it would be set that process in place for it to like be part of Mars, for instance, or part of the check or something. I don't know, just an idea. There okay. might be a software component to that. Okay. Um, so could, could Elizabeth, could I ask you to put a comment in this issue as well? It's just- Seriously, See, this is why I should have gave my mouse. No, I'm no I, I would I do it here, it but I just don't think I can, without like going to a whole other tab, I think. <laughs> so, for, uh, it's totally fine. I don't mind at all. It's my pleasure. Oh, I can. I can do it if, if, if we want to put in an action item for someone to put that in the mm -hmm. idea in the Google Summer Code Ideas document. Yeah, that'd be great. Because I'm um, thinking too, this could be something that is tied in, you know, how we're doing a website redesign this summer. Like this should certainly be part of that as well. All right, so. I will put, there's one action item. All right, this is basically it. Matt, you had offered to do that, a proposal? I didn't offer to do that, but I can definitely oh. be voluntold because I need something to do today. I'm sorry, I wasn't telling you. <laughs> I, that, no, I'm good. <laughs> Everybody's just being facetious to match you today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. And then, and this is just some tracking work. So honestly, this is, that was it for our, our tasks. So thank you everybody for that. And I, the reason I kind of like this too is that Instead of just going through our pull requests and our issues, this kind of locates us a little bit faster than the things that need attention. So again, huge kudos to, to Justin. All right. Um, so we, the second thing we have here, did anybody have any other comments on the project board for DEI? Um, so I have something, if you want, Matt, I can help you out with that, uh, to like to, to do together the proposal. I have a bit of experience with that, so maybe we can work on it. It's fine for you. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, I'm gonna put it in a Google Doc and I'll send it. I'll send you a link to that. I'll also okay. send it to the. Great, thank you. So, Christy, just from a, a process perspective, so we the way that we do it, and it may be different as to how you've done it, but we so we went ahead and did the organizational proposal for GSOC, so that's already in. And then we just we collect ideas from different potential mentors across the chaos project so like mm -hmm. matt or sean mm -hmm. elizabeth and then we have um so we just kind of describe what that task would be 
in a, in a markdown file. Um, and then we have a, like a micro task that we ask the potential applicants to do associated with one particular um, topic that they're interested in, just to kind of see if they, you know, are <laughs> in a good place to work with us over a course of summer. And then we go ahead and we have them submit their micro task work. And then that gives us something to review when we're reviewing applicants for Google Summer of Code. So that may be the process similar to what you had done in the past, but that's that's how we do it here. Yeah. Something okay. like that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure they're all kind of the same. Okay, right on. Thank you, Christy. Um, no all right, great. Any other comments on the project overview? Good. Um, could somebody drop the minutes in for Justin if they haven't? And Justin, while you're on, I'm just going to tell you, you got thank yous like several times <laughs> over the course of the last 10 minutes because we just went through the project board that you put together and it was amazing. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sorry. And we must do this in the other working groups too. It really helped us kind of focus on these tasks and to dos uh, quite well. All right. Um, so the um, metric idea, uh, Elizabeth, this was yours event accessibility. I don't know if you have any comments on this or. Yeah, I did start hmm. building it out. I saw Christy was in there also adding some comments. Um, and I did bring it up in the DEI badging weekly call as well, in case, since this is kind of was the inspiration for this was the DEI badging initiative. So I'm not sure we might have some of those um, individuals contributing as well, but I mean, it's, it's getting there. Like, I don't know if we want to work on it, if we have time or what, whatever you want to do. Would you like us to spend maybe five or 10 minutes just all taking a look at it? That seems to work time. really well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would be that'd be awesome. Okay, um, why don't we do that? I will stop my share. You should have access to this document in the minutes, but I'll also put it in the chat unless somebody did already. Also, um, would really love input on actually how to measure <laughs> this um, because I don't like it's not something that we would like survey people. I think it's it's that it would be the organizer just keeping track of what measures they're doing and like that's their metric. I don't so they could track over time. Hey, we're doing more than we did last year. I think is what. Yeah, I mean maybe it's to me it feels a little like um, like uh, honestly like code of conduct. Like we just ask to see it. When yeah. We do reviews and then yeah. we. We ask about enforcement. I'm even thinking like the demographic stuff. Like we just ask whether or not they <laughs> are talking about it. Yeah, and have but, considered it and, and things like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. so I think that would be really similar in this regard. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording if we could all just take you know five or 10 minutes and help out on this particular metric, that'd be cool. Return to the recording and I'm going to go back to screen sharing. So thank you, um, everybody. Uh, right. All right. Um, so I just, this is an update. I really honestly think that maybe Elizabeth will work on when you bring this one back next week, event accessibility, I'll talk about project demographics. I, the, the short comment here is I think it's largely done, but there's something else I kind of want to talk about a little bit today. Um, Matt, you had had, a, I guess I'm talking about it, but Matt, you had had a comment about the different types of contributors. I just went to the types of contributors <laughs> metric and, and grabbed those different types of contributors. I cleaned up the data collection strategies. Um, and so really at this point, it's just adding yourself as a contributor if you feel like you have contributed to this metric. But overall, I think it's it's coming along pretty well. And based on, I think we worked on this a week ago as a group. And so I just cleaned everything up. So um, maybe we can just finalize this next week when we finalize 
the event accessibility because maybe that shouldn't take too long. Okay, um, all right. So I I wanted to talk just a little bit about our privacy and ethics documents. I know that this occurs in common, but it's also something that I think touches DEI a little bit, just in terms of how data is considered. Um, if you hear weird noises, that's my dog going under a bed, <laughs> crawling on his belly. <laughs> anyway, can you do you hear these things or does it filter them out pretty well? You heard some flopping going I heard on. This, yeah, struggle was real. I heard it. I was I was hoping no one was like falling down the stairs or something. <laughs> no. Um, for some reason, I was just signed out as chaos community because somebody else signed in. Maybe there's another meeting going on somewhere. Or somebody just opened Zoom and forgot to sign out. <clears throat> yeah, that's possible. <clears throat> um, all right. So so right now we have this our privacy ethics documents so i don't know if this fits in dei i don't want to overload common all the time but we just need some place where we need to sort this out and this is to some degree driving me um crazy because <laughs> i feel like we have these things all over the place so right now we have a data policy document mm -hmm. that is posted here all right, and this talks about how we as a community handle data with respect to privacy for things that we collect, like the, the stuff that happens within the chaos project or at our events. Like, so that's, this is one pro data project policy. And I'm, I'm okay with this. And I think it's a little bit different than the rest. So, so far so good. We have this statement in the metrics template that if you didn't notice is somewhere in here. It's here. So we now have this statement in the metrics template that says the use, it's basically saying, you know, if you're going to use this metric, this may come with data collection associated with it, you being the user of the metric, not you being a chaos community member. You need to think about. <laughs> so is, you, the, so is, is the right thing to do to include a pointer to this other document or? Well, that's that's this right here. So link okay. to number four when this is done. Okay. So there's right now, if you look inside of here, mm -hmm. there's a placeholder for, for this. For thing. The, okay. All right. So we currently have this statement and a placeholder for some larger document. Right. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. I mean, there's six different so, documents here. So, it's <laughs> so having individual metrics have a pointer to a standard data use document. That makes sense to me. And the, okay. sta the, the statement, the brief statement also makes sense because it puts it in the context of, hey, you're using a metric and he's, these are the things that get consumed or collected and be careful. And here's Fair. the de details on being careful, but Fair. I suspect it gets more complex from here. So we, we also <laughs> then have this statement. So that should become a pointer to the standard document. Which is in our, just our general chaos metrics header. <laughs> right. Which is slightly different than the statement that's in the template. So, so do we just, shouldn't it just be a pointer to the, to the standard, that, could. that privacy document that you, we have but been I'm, developing? But I'm about ready to get to. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you're, you, no, I was like, I always, I always read the last page of the novel. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so are you following so far? We, we have like, we have our own privacy statement, which I think is separate from this. And then we have a disclaimer that's in the metrics template and we have a disclaimer that's at the top of the metrics page all right so to me this is and then we have a so this is the disclaimer at the top of the metrics page then we have this document that i believe is the most like um, 
the most up-to-date and the one that's being worked on the most at this point. And this is the privacy regulation. All right, so this is the one that I've been working on. This is the one that Lucas has been working on. This is the one that Sophia has been working on. Elizabeth, you had put a bunch of comments in here as well. That's this document. All right, I'm not asking you to go through this document at this point, but this is just things to consider. And then here's some existing, kind of a list of existing um, regulation around privacy. All right. So I think this document, and tell me if people kind of think differently, is the link for this one. So like when we are in, you know, when we have this implementation statement, which is what I showed you on that last page, when we say, please see the chaos data ethics document, it, it links to what's, what's currently called privacy regulation relevant to the use of open source software metrics. Are any people, are your, how are your brains doing with all of this? Because there, there's a lot of documents I'm trying to, like, I've got to unravel yeah. it. This is it's silly that we have so many documents right now. It is. All right. All right. We also, here's where it gets weird. We also have a privacy guidance document. Oh, too, yeah, go ahead, Christy. Question, what's the difference between the privacy guidance and the privacy regulations? So this appears, I don't know. <laughs> this is the <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> yeah, I think you could combine those. So two. Maybe take some of the text that's in here if it, yeah. if it isn't currently covered in wherever it was. Yeah, the regulation document. This one. That would okay. be my recommendation. That we that we just kind of read through this and anything that we say here that's like, oh, that's a nice addition to that other document that we kind of merge these two. Okay, I'm okay with that. We have one more document. <laughs> we have the, what was, the data use awareness statement, which looks like an old version of, no, of this. <laughs> like we have like these three documents, this one that is appears to be the most recent. This is the one that Christy was like, well, what's that? And I couldn't answer. And then we have this one, which Sophia had was working on a little bit. And this is what kind of prompted all of this. So thoughts on this one? Merge? Yeah, they should all be one. Just put it all in one. Okay, and that's all three meant. of these should mm -hmm. just be one. Mm -hmm. And that one is the one we link out to here. Agree. I mean, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I just wanted to t tell you that. <laughs> these... <laughs> I did not realize there were so many documents going on at the same time. I thought Lucas and Sophia were like iterating on one place, which was the the regulations with all the links to the different countries. Yeah, which is I that's the most recent one that I was yeah. showing you. But then the one, not the the one that's not that one. That's this one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I, I kind of thought this was the only one as well, but then I slowly went back through Slack and tried, tried to backwards my way. <laughs> Glad you did. Uh, yeah. And I kept wondering, I'm like, why am I so confused on this issue? <laughs> like, why, why can't I seem to track what's going on here? And I figured out why. All right, so I'll take an action item to merge these three and we would just have one and I think it would show up Elizabeth in the community repository. Yes. Okay. I think that's probably where it should go for now. 
Okay. And then do people have thoughts on, we currently have the disclaimer at the top of the generic metrics page. You know what I mean? And we also have a placeholder, as you saw, within the metric. So should we keep both? They should probably say the exact same thing if we keep both. And they don't currently say the exact same thing. And the only reason that it might be useful to keep it here is not all of our older released metrics necessarily have that disclaimer in there because this disclaimer is a relatively new addition to the metrics template. So my suggestion is that we change this to be this. Okay. Okay, good. All right, thank you. Make sure I wasn't going down some weird weird route okay um all right so these get merged right and then these Um, these should be the same statement with a link to merged. Okay, cool. Um, Justin, you're putting some comments in there. I don't know if you are able to unmute and tell us what you're talking yeah, about. I was just, I was just moving in the for reference something that i am um, so last week i attended uh i was i was attending an ieee standards association was like making a working group and it was like understanding that whole process for the first time and one thing i, I thought was neat is how they classify things like um things across like standards recommended practices and guides and they the main like there's a couple of things that are different but they use different verbs to kind of classify those different documents where like a standard uses shall because that's something you have to do to comply it's a, it's a must whereas like a recommended practice is a should did they recommend that you do these things and then for guides they use like the word may you may do this to be kind of more flexible or permissible uh, of how people are, are supposed to take away like what their interpretation should be. Um, so I was thinking of these documents, like maybe there's a way of like, um, like separating this out and maybe if we're combining documents down into one thing, just being really consistent on the language we use could be helpful. Um, That's good. There's something that I learned about last week and maybe applicable here. Yeah, I, th I think in this case, um, I, I put in the comments, I think we're should in this case, because we're, we're kind of handing these over. <laughs> I really think you should think about these things. You don't have to if you don't want to, but, but uh, you really should do that. So I like the way you put it. All right, cool. All right, great. Thank you, everybody. Um, I guess in the last few minutes, Elizabeth, did you have anything you wanted to talk about with onboarding specific to this group? I know you talked about it a little bit yesterday in the community call, but things you want to bring forward here? I think the only thing to mention is that uh, Ruth and I continue to meet every week and that I believe she, we uh, are going to implement a second set of office hours as an experiment a little earlier in the day. Um, and Ruth is going to staff that and then I'll be the one later just because that way it's a little more globally inclusive. I think that's the only update though. Okay, cool. And then are you one, it's not really onboarding, I guess it's more mentoring. Mm -hmm. Um, or is there, do you think that the she code Africa is going to move forward? Um, so the, the question remains of being a mentor for a, someone to write the Slack bot. Um, Ruth didn't feel comfortable doing that. I could, but it's been like five years since I wrote a Slack bot. So I don't know if I would be a very good mentor. Um, so we would just need to find someone willing to mentor that. But then it flips because I, you know, Ruth was very interested in mentoring since she had already gone through that project or that cohort. So it would be like either we find a mentor that isn't Ruth or we find a project in which Ruth can also mentor. 
we had an idea for graphic design, but I think you are considering hiring someone for that. So, so yeah, it's a little TBD right now, but we're still thinking on it. Okay. Um, it would be possible maybe for if Ruth wanted to be a mentor, if we could like have a few people participate in Chico Code Africa that would be willing to kind of help with Ruth. Yeah, <laughs> co-mentor. Yeah. Yeah, or even just like even if it's not co-mentor, just like behind the scenes. Yeah. Christy, did um, you have a comment? Sorry, just a quick question. Yes. Uh, can you please give me a little bit of context? What is, what is uh, She Code Africa? Is it uh, like an event or? Yeah, it's like a mentorship program, very similar to uh, Google Summer of Code, um, but it's geared towards bringing um, women in Africa into coding. So it's specifically for women in Africa. Um, it's a two month cohort. Uh, Ruth Ikiga, who is usually on this in this group, she, uh, oh, you know, Ruth. Oh yeah. Um, she had gone through that. And so um, it's like a, a two month, did I say that already? Two month cohort. The deadline to apply is February 28th though. So it's coming up very soon. And we would have to have all our tasks, subtasks and everything already set, I think when we apply. Um, so does that give you a little more context? Yes. Uh, so if I would like, for example, to have to help Ruth or probably to participate as a mentor, I don't know. I guess that one requirement should be to code, right? For the idea that we had, and I'll, I'll link here, I'll drop this in the um, thing. This was the idea that we had about a, a newcomer bot in uh, Slack that would welcome people who join and point them to resources right away. Instead, right now we just kind of do it manually on the fly. Um, so that was Ruth's idea to kind of make that first contact and give them information right off the front. So think about it, Christy, and if it is something, oh, we're out of time, and Matt didn't get to his other thing. I'm so That's sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, think about it, Christy, and just let me know. Yeah, sure. So I'd like to, um, I, I will have a look definitely, but I'd be, I'd be interested to help out. I just thought that if it's required to have technical skills, unfortunately, I cannot help on this, but if, if it's for other stuff, then sure. My, my thought is through people in the chaos project who have worked in Slack and have created Slack bots. I mean, we have an availability of enough people who have kind of been through this before. And mentorship is so many things more than just writing code. And so I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really inclined to, to, to do this and we can figure out the technical support just as we move forward. That's, that's my inclination. Okay, that sounds awesome. And I'll I'll put that put that in the issue and I'll talk to Ruth about it tomorrow. So thanks okay. Matt. I like that. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for your time. It's good to see everybody. And until next week, have a good remainder of the week. All right. All right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya.